Ah, yes. Do you smell it? I smell it. The Rock definitely smells it. Love is in the air. Oh, yeah. And if you're looking to commemorate Valentine's Day, or any day, mind you, but can't find the right words to tell that special someone how much you really care, well, have no fear, because I'm Cupid Kevin Callis from Wrestling Behind the Themes, and here's a collection of love songs that is just too sweet. Prior to making his WWF debut back in 1993, double T showed up on everybody's boob tube in pre-produced vignettes shot in Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, portraying an up-and-coming country singer and dressed in some of the most over-the-top ring get-ups of all time. The last outlaw spent his days working hard on the go, gunning for the Intercontinental title, as well as promoting his album, Ain't I Great? And this catchy little ditty, With My Baby Tonight, written and produced by who else but Jim Johnston, was a musical love note for the wife of this Double J. Not this Double J, because this Double J didn't even sing the song. This Double J did. Got that? Let's throw out a twofer here, because there's not one, but two love songs performed by wrestlers titled Heartbeat Away. First off, shout out to fellow YouTuber Wrestling Bios and his healthy obsession with Das Wunderkid, Alex Wright. They both definitely got the jam, and we'll certainly appreciate that Alex's unused theme song has made this list. Oh, big bratwurst. A Europop Jamie Jam featuring Wright rapping lyrics of love like, come with me and take my hand forever i'm your loving man since the ps in michael ps hayes stands for purely sexy the fabulous freebird himself certainly knows a thing or do, do, do. about love this tune is one of the most heartfelt and sincere songs sung by a sports entertainer sorry i lied it's just michael lusting after some girl of course I just hope she was careful and had protection because God knows what you might pick up down on Bad Street, USA. Kudos to the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, and Bruce Pritchard for getting Sensational Sherry into the recording studio to do this song because it's so bad that it's actually good. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Hall of Fame career of Sherry Martell, you surely recognize her unmistakable nicotine-laden voice, but Martell brought so much more to the table. She was skilled and accomplished inside the squared circle and a force to be reckoned with when managing outside of it. And even though it isn't the version that gets played for HP anymore. Sherry's stirring rendition of Shawn Michaels' entrance theme, Sexy Boy, helped strap a rocket to the Heartbreak Kid's back and catapulted him into the stratosphere. Trish Stratus is regarded by the WWE Universe as the quintessential diva. Gorgeous, talented, and super sexy. Yeah, baby. Oh. The Canadian beauty was easy on the eyes and extra hard on her opponents. Nowadays, she spends time being a mom and posting some redonkulous videos on social media. <laughs> But back in the day, she also enjoyed singing. I Just Want You was a track on WWE Originals, an album released back in 2003 consisting of original songs by superstars and divas whom you wouldn't expect to sing, like Trish, Kurt Angle, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Channeling her inner Britney Spears, it's apparent that Trish put 100% stratisfaction into this seductive track. The slowest of slow jams performed by Rikishi, put a little ass on it, is another track from WWE Originals. Now, one might think that this song was written by Vince and all his yes men because it contains so much of the sophomoric humor they hold so dear, as the first verse is essentially a metaphor that compares the feeling of love with the feeling of holding in a fart. I have to fart. This world is queasy, holding on tight, trying hard just to keep control, don't let it go. Let it go! R. Kelly's bump and grind, it isn't. Birds of 
I know some of you youngsters are probably thinking to yourself, what in the blue hell is this? What? Well, it's Bertha Faye. Bruh. The highly decorated Rhonda Singh, who was brought into the WWF Clown Show to serve as a hefty heel challenger for Alundra Blaze. Now, Big Bertha was slapped with your basic run-of-the-mill trailer park trash gimmick, dressed up like a female version of Dusty Rhodes, and paired with a greasy-haired run-of-a-manager, Dr. Harvey Whippleman. These two, kayfabe, fell madly in love with each other, but in reality, they didn't get along at all. However, Harvey's heart would still go on to reciprocate his feelings by writing this love song for Heavy B called Sweet Lovin' Arms. WrestleMania the album was shockingly produced by everyone's favorite a-hole reality show judge, Simon Cow. But I'm not quite sure how the Baron of Bitterness saw fit to include Bret Hart's sappy spoken word ballad, Never Been a Right Time to Say Goodbye, in the final cut. Now we all know Bret is good at a lot of things, whether he wants to or not. But the hitman is the shitman when it comes to music. Channeling his inner Bill Shatner, Brett waxes off poetically about potential heartbreak. But this chorus is way too upbeat, and I don't know whether to laugh or to cry or to blame Bill Goldberg. When I met you, girl, it was love at first sight. Your hair looks so good. Matt Cardona is currently on the greatest run of his career, no longer bound to a contract and a company that seemingly punished him for his creativity. Cardona is always ready and willing to do the work to achieve success. However, back during his WWE days and going by the name of Zack Ryder, the Long Island Icy dreamt of being a pop star broski, which actually came true by becoming the first WWE superstar to crack the iTunes Pop 100 with his smash hit. Hosky, with such deep and thought provoking lyrics like I thought we'd be so mates, like and, lime. and roses are red and violets are blue. You may have left me, but I still woo woo. woo. How can you not love this bop, bro? Now you might not consider someone who's as middle aged and crazy as Terry Funk to deep down be such a softy. But the truth is, behind that rough and tough exterior, he's just a tender, caring maniac. From his album, titled Great Texan, comes his passionate tune, Rapungi. Accompanied by a smooth saxophone, the funker bears his soul with a soft southern drawl as he chronicles the experience of being a wrestler in Japan, getting drunk every night on hot sake, and spending some quality time in the exotic nightclubs of Rapungi. And that's it for our list. Have any other love songs we might have missed? Then let us know what they are in the comment section right down below. And don't forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Thank you as always for watching our videos. I've been Kevin from Wrestling Behind the Themes, and I really hope this helps you get laid.